Hello, everybody. My name is Professor Ken, and welcome to Math for Elementary Education. I'm so sorry I can't be with you this week, but um, my health issues are permitting it. Um, I will be back on January 30th, and I can't wait to meet you in person. But I'm going to record a series of videos for the January 23rd class, and if you go through all of these videos, along with everything that's in the Blackboard, you'll have a great understanding of what this course is and what you should be doing for your assignment this week. And you're gonna learn a few things this week as well. I'm, I'm quite confident of it. So this video is introducing, introducing the course. And I'm just gonna show you how my Blackboard page is organized. So I am in Zoom right now in a meeting for one, and I'm recording the meeting to make this instructional video for you. You will be expected to do the same thing this week and several other weeks. Um, digital video production is a very important part of becoming a great teacher, and it's my goal for you to become a great teacher, so you're going to have to be good at digital video production. So I am in Zoom, my meeting, I'm recording it, and now I'm going to go to share screen. Um, there will be some instructions and videos on how to make a Zoom instructional video. But I can't make a video on it because I'm on Zoom. So you can't make a video on how to use Zoom if you're in Zoom. I apologize for that part. All right, so I'm going to click on share screen. And I'm going to go to screen and share. All right, so I don't need this up any longer. Here's my email. And here's our Blackboard page. So if we go to the top, we see that it's EDU 504 and EDU 424. So it's some of you are undergrads and some of you are graduate students. I can't wait to get to know you better. The first link is the syllabus. And if you read the syllabus, you're, it may come up a little scary. I've gotten burnt a few times, so I write my syllabus very strictly. And basically, here are the basic things you need to know. Number one, don't skip my class. I don't like it. I plan very hard for class and I can't have you skipping it. Plus we don't meet that many times. So each class is very important. Two, try to get here a few minutes early. Sit as close to the front as possible. And um, stay off your device in class. It's, it's rude to be on your device while I'm teaching. Um, and lastly, um, make sure you get all of your homework done on time. So I used to be very liberal about letting students hand in work late, but then they would let it all pile up until the end and they couldn't get it done with good quality. So every assignment needs to be done. You can't pick and choose which assignment you're going to do. If you don't do an assignment, not only do you get a zero, but you get a half a letter grade deduction. Uh, I understand life gets in the way. So if you need to hand in an assignment late, I will allow it one time. If you have a huge problem, I will allow it a second time but no more than that. You can be excused from classes, but you need to talk to me about it ahead of time. I'm not gonna excuse you for a class after the fact. So if you do miss a few classes, if you, if you, miss, if you have unexcused absences from class, it's not gonna reflect well. Um, in terms of the assignments, you will have one or two assignments due for each class. I'm not the type of professor that gives you one giant assignment due in four weeks. I prefer to, um, give you little assignments that are due each week. Um, each assignment has a point value. And if you want to know what your grade average is, you add up how many points you've earned and divide that by how many points you could have earned. Multiply it by 100 and you'll have your percent average. Um, so I hope that makes sense. All right, so that's about all there is to know about the syllabus. Um, right underneath the syllabus, it says, please fill out the survey. Uh, there are times when I may need to get a, need to get a hold of you. So if you fill out the survey, I'll know how to get a hold of you. <clears throat> Excuse me. If we have inclement weather, we might have to meet in my Zoom room. So if you click here, it's the link to my Zoom room. In this class, we're going to be using a lot of manipulatives. Vir virtual manipulatives are manipulatives that are online. Concrete manipulatives are the manipulatives you hold in your hand. So these are all links to virtual manipulatives. It's a great library. And I would suggest that you save those links after the course so that you can use them with your students. We will be using the Common Core Standards. And if we click here, 
Okay. Um, here's the Common Core Standards document. Here's a video that we're going to watch in class that explains it. And then one, there are eight standards called the Standards of Mathematical Practice. And this is how to use those at a glance. So those are the Common Core Standards. Um, in this class, we're not going to have an assignment where you're going to have to write an entire unit, but you will have to be writing parts of a unit different weeks. So um, this will help explain that better. Okay, books for the course. If we click here. There is just one book for the course, and it's called Bar Modeling by Yeet Bon Har. Um, I think it is in the bookstore, but I always like students to pay the least amount of money, so scroll, uh, search around for it. If you really can't find it, um, you let me know. This Vander Wally book is optional. And it doesn't say that it's optional, but it is optional. The other course that I do not teach has it uh, mandatory. And here's the bar modeling book again. So there are some links to it, but you do need to own the bar modeling book. So please get that as soon as possible. <clears throat> as I said before, you need to have your own Zoom account and you need to know how to make recordings from your Zoom. Um, we're also gonna use uh, software called Gizmos. If we click here, um, this little document shows you how to enroll in the Gizmos class, but I'll also make a small video on how to do that as well. Um, there's another software called Desmos. You will also need to know how to uh, set up a Desmos account. Um, and then if you don't like making videos on Zoom, you can always use Screencastify or Loom or any other software that you prefer. And then um, you do have to create, toward the end of the course, you're gonna have to create a performance task. And there are some performance task ideas. Now this is the meat and potatoes. So every week um, when we meet, I will populate each one of these links with all the materials. I don't want you going into the materials too early. And I definitely don't want you starting assignments too early. I, each assignment is to be done after I teach the material on it that night. Okay, so, um, and I should hide this link because that's the final exam. Yes, we will have a final exam in class, but it's not anything to get too nervous about. All right, so that's how my Blackboard is set up and what the expectations are for the class. So I'm going to end this video. I'm, uh, I'm going to have several shorter videos so that you can take breaks, etc. But while you're watching my videos, I do suggest that you have your notebook and a pen in front of you so that you, should, you can pause them and take lots of notes. All right, I'm going to stop the share. Here I am again. So um, best wishes, and I'll see you in a couple minutes. Bye-bye.